My name is Sorin Manta, manager of Wintel Servers for Enterprise Infrastructure Trading Services. We're managing 400 servers in Canada, US, and UK, and we have 80 people in our team supporting trading operations for BMO Capital Markets. Because we're talking about trading services operation, obviously every downtime can, can result in huge potential financial losses, so having a stable environment is critical to the business. We're trying to provide them a highly resilient system, very responsive, uh, and we know that any latency or performance degradation can have a financial impact. BMO Capital Markets was authorized to open line of businesses in 2007 in China and Hong Kong. We had to open four offices within a span of a couple months, and the only way that allowed us to achieve this was throughout Windows 2000 platforms. We're able to save over $150,000 in capital costs, but not deploying infrastructure in China and allowing them to use trading platform application straight from Canada. As a result of those achievements, uh, in 2007, we were awarded Technology and Operation Awards of Excellence because of the way we roll out this platform in China and the way we save the business over half a million dollars in cost. My name is Dave Dravel and my job is Senior Vice President of Corporate Technology Development. So in that capacity, I'm accountable for all of systems development that happens across the uh, BMO Financial Group of companies in Canada and the U.S. A few years ago, we replatformed our systems across our retail bank within Canada. And when we did that, we had to make a lot of architectural decisions. Everything at the front end in terms of uh, what our customers and the employees are using, we've standardized on .NET as our platform from that. And really, it's web services in the middle holding these things together. So the advantages that we get by standardizing on um, integrated suites or platforms, so something like a Visual Studio, is twofold. Uh, we not only um, have the lower cost of having a single set of systems that we would look at to support our Windows platforms, we also have reduced training costs, uh, reduced operating costs, and reusability across the enterprise. So moving to standard tool sets means that I have a lower cost for the tool itself, but I think more importantly, there's a learning economy of being able to train people once and have them take that knowledge and use it broadly across the organization. We always look to hire highly trained professional, but we count on their fundamental knowledge to come from their university. After that, we expect every professional to look at learning as fast as they can about the business and the value the IT can bring to it. We're all in the technology industry and it's actually very easy to get excited about the next new release, the, the next whiz bang thing that comes out with technology, but ultimately that doesn't mean a thing unless you have great people that are able to work with the technology and bring solutions out to our customers. Coming to work every day, dealing with new platforms and new technologies and seeing the value that you bring back to the business is what makes my job satisfying.